Hello guys, Phoenix here, and welcome back to another episode of Sunless Sea. Uh, we'll, we'll call this one episode two. Uh, we'll, that first one, uh, didn't count. Either way, we are back at Fallen London, where we are going to collect messages from the Harbour Master. All the clatter and song, uh, all the clatter and song of the dark side, it soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? I guess we will find out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Something has changed in the north. Um. Someone wants to sign on. Uh, that's all for now. You now have one of this. Another day, a free evening. A precious time away from a captain's duty. How will you spend it? You get one of these each time you return to London. Um, another day. The Rose Markets hasn't changed because it's higher than zero. Okay. Uh, for some reason, it's hard to read this text. I'm not sure what's up with that. It's like fuzzy and stuff. Um, who knows? Uh, it's, it's weird. Either way, we're going to go through some of this. I will skip out anything that isn't too interesting. Um, but here we go. A little gift. A very fine evening to you, Captain. Um... My, you might, uh, my, what you might call mentor, is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation, on account of, he is so fond of sea captains, okay, behind the blind bruiser, on the dock, stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. Uh, make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold, or come back later, it would be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Inquire further. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? Well, let's ask. An eerie wave. He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river. Uh, what is much patronized by sailors and by men of wit and vinegar. Um, a, a, a public house. And there is no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly. And it's, I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Hmm. I think we're going to take it. Let's just make sure we have space. Okay. Okay. Um, well, my patron hopes that you find these gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps someday you might choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. Should the day come, we will make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct what you might require. Good evening to you. He salutes and is gone. We gain fuel, supplies, you accept the proposal, and you now have one times menace, suspicion. Oh, you rascalian. This will increase as you conduct criminal activities, or have contact with rough sorts. The higher your suspicion, the more fiercely the Exorcist will search your ship. Or the Excise, even. Exorcist. Gods. <laughs> uh, continue. So, uh, the Merchant Venturer. An urchin chucks at your sleeve. Uh, I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventative one. Here are my requirements. An opportunity for profit. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates. He won't ask you how you came by these things. Um, okay. An occurrence. Uh, objective. The venture, blah, blah, blah. A dream and a scheme. He has a plan. Uh, speak to him further or check your journal. What does he want? Um, something silky. I'd offer you a better price than you'll get in Wolfstack. Much better. 1,500 echoes for the lot. Wow. You'll find silk in Survivor's Rocks, far to the east. Or in the... Or in Kante, near Z's Heart. Something warming. Uh, they'll sell it at Mount Palmerston. Uh, somewhere in the north of the Untersea. 1,000 echoes for seven sealed skins. Alright. That's cool. We can do this. Uh, our lodgings. Read the morning papers. Let's go. 
News from abroad. Uh, abroad, even. The Kante is threatening war. They always are. The London's colonies in the Carnelian Coast uh, want independence. They always do. Oh, okay. We, we got another... Uh, we lost Terra, and we got another um, thing of provisions. That's cool. Let's go here. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty. Uh, nationally. Uh, we gained five echo. We now have favors. And we gained a fuel. Yay. Uh, okay. Um, let's also go to the university. Oh yes, the University Maritime Lazy and Whispers Breathly. Oh yes, this is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She, he, explains, teach glinting. You've lost the secret. A twist in your tail. You are now favors, at, um, antiquarian. And we have gained a page. The Alarming Scholar. Um, the Alarming Scholar is mercurial, to say the least. A creature of sudden moves and provoking, uh, provoking teeth. Possibly her. Is it her? Um, appointment as University Maritime Lazy was precautionary. To keep his, is it his? Raises sharp enthusiasm for causing too many injuries in the f uh, faculty. Ah yes, the scholar whispers uh, breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought for me? Um, if you have any knowledge items that the scholar will buy, they'll appear below. A memory of distant shores. Uh, and that's it. Let's go. Um, as the alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depths of those shining, or is it blazing eyes? They overflow, splashing into the desk blotter. Stop, he, she, sobs at last. This is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macaw of memories. I wish each individual tone recalled. Uh, we gain... Alright. Perhaps we should leave. A new recruit. Who awaits your attention? A new recruit. Someone wants to sign on. On later visits, different officers will sometimes be available. If there's more than one choice, you can choose one per visit. Uh, engage an officer, the haunted doctor. Please, I must leave this place. I can work my passage. I am a doctor. Increases heart and pages. Uh, we can get a genial magician. Increases veils and mirrors, or a Zayla. They will simply increase your crew by one. I want the magician. <laughs> good afternoon, sir. Perhaps I can do your engines some good. No, haha. <laughs> I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. Um. Welcome aboard. I'd get to work below. Perhaps... Uh, I'll get to work below. Perhaps I should change out of this jacket first. Of course. Um, appoint your new officer by dragging him to the officer's tab. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we lost 50 echoes. Um, you have no more recruitments for the moment. Okay, if we go to officers, he can be dragged to chief engineer. And we can speak to him. Ask bluntly about his hook. Ask how a magician came to be an engineer. Uh, increase your veils. A magician never tells his secrets. He does, however, trade them. Uh, spend a secret to improve your veils. If it is no higher than a hundred. Okay, uh, I'm going to ask him. We'll, we'll do some of this later, for now. Uh, how about we just leave? We're already 12 minutes in. Uh, my lords, these... The <laughs> I'm not sure how well this game is suited to YouTube, but if anybody really is interested in all of this reading and stuff, uh, I certainly find it cool. Uh, we're going to turn around, because apparently you can't go this way. Okay guys, we have, uh, have found our way somewhere. Uh, Mutton Island. 
Fires on the hillside. Uh, Quaker's Haven. Uh, once the simple fishing village was part of London's suburbs. Before London fell and the waters rushed in. Okay, uh, chat to the fishermen. Uh, they sail the sea around the island. They mend their nets by the harbour. Uh, they see all that happens here, but you'll need coin to open their mouths. I don't mind spending one. Oh, or visit hilltop above the town. Um, we can do this one for free. Uh, there's not much wind on the undersea, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicable lo uh, local fragment of weather, and the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. Um, let's. Uh, the wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the local uh, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is southerly. Um, we gained two terra. 14 fragments. Um, let's uh, chat to the fishermen. Uh, pirates play, uh, plying the waves, smugglers at their work. Can't say ships putting into resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Okay, cool. Uh, buy fuel. I don't think we need any. Awesome. I think we will, uh, we will leave this place. Have we found anything? No, no we haven't. But let us, uh, do some traveling, and, uh, I will, again, cut to, <laughs> cut to the next point of interest that we, uh, find. Alright, guys, we are going to go into the Gainoti Harbor, and, uh, see what it holds. Cumian Canal staging area. Here, the dark waters run down from the surface, from a brighter sea. The Cumian Canal staging area. The canal ascends through the locks and gates to uh, shadow turns, and shadow turns to the sunlight of the surface. Um. Ah, we can assist the gnomic gallivant in, in an enterprise of dubious legality. A riddle. There are ten individuals in a room, one of whom is an ancient tyrant. How can you distinguish him? Answer. Uh, burglarize a private library for a picture of him beforehand. Ooh. Um. Okay. We shall do this. We shall do this thing. Knowing the enemy. As dinner bells sound throughout the port, you carry a ladder to one of the long moored half legal ship ho um, hotels or hostels. <laughs> hotels. Uh, you prop the ladder to the porthole of what the gallivant assures you is the cabin of a French diplomat. He ascends swiftly, leaving you to carry the ladder away. Half an hour later, the gallivant is back on your deck. He push polishes his ruby cuffs. I have seen the face of eternity printed in ink. It was a terrible face. No, the um, Nomic Gallivant now knows his target's face. Okay, there is still one port left to visit, which is apparently uh, not supposed to be far from the other shores. Uh, you have one vision of the surface. Oh, in Vendebrite, they're always eager for news of the surface. Okay, well we know where we can take that. Uh, gather information for a port report. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe in all the undersea, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. Awesome. We have a report. And that appears to be all that we can do here. Um. Alright. So I assume somewhere perhaps in this direction is, uh, is where we will find the, uh, the other place we need to go. I assume that we cannot go through these gates. Just a feeling. So, uh, we'll give it a try. Uh, 
Um, okay. It does not appear we can, actually. Let's just stop for a second and let's launch our bat. The Z-Bat. There are no islands nearby. Alright guys, we've just got a notification. Stalagmites loom in the distance like cranes at Wolfstack. Docks. But vaster, vaster. The Corsair's forest. Our lookouts are watchful. That is ominous. Uh... What are we fighting? Ah! We are being chased by a frigate. Uh, we probably cannot defeat that. Uh, so let us sail away. Oh, we got hit. Okay, uh, that was certainly interesting. We will, uh, <laughs> stay away from there in the future. That place is spooky. Uh, y yet again, cutting until something interesting happens. Oh, fire! You pushed your engines too far, too fast. Zaylas scream. Uh, flames rage. Heal the wounds, dampen the fires. Do what you can. A high-risk challenge. I guess we have to. You've saved injured sailors, but the ship has tough, it's, uh, suffered terribly. You succeed in a hearts challenge. Okay. You've lost one times hell. Well. That uh, was uh, kind of bad, I must say. Alright guys, we have found ourselves a... Uh, one of these things to hit. These things are always fun. So, I I like, it's not very fun. Um, it did some damage to us though, we're at 34 hull right now. We shall uh, head over here and... Mm, for knowledge. I don't think we need the supplies right now, we shall dissect it. We have gained an extra 25 fragments. Awesome. And we have also found Abbey Rock, where we shall dock. Alright guys, here we are entering Abbey Rock, where we shall probably gather some reports. The black spit of an island, far from anywhere anyone would want to go. Trade supplies, resources are limited on this bleak rock, bleak rock. the sisterhood will pay, pay fair price for supplies. Not a good price, mind. 20 echoes, to be precise. Um... We'll sell one. Uh, the muscular prioress jingles with knives and pistols. She reckons every ca uh, she reckons every candle and coil of rope before she reluctantly counts out your payment. Compile a report. It's unlikely to be eventful. We shall do that. Nothing is happening. The sisters watch us. We feel their eyes. The sea crashes on the rocks. With uh, The sea crashes on the rocks. Withdraws. The fortress stands. Stolid. As the last year of a century. The greatest peril you risk here is a certain purpleness of prose. Okay then. Uh, knock at the iron-studded gates with news. Perhaps they'll find it valuable. Watch the Covenant. Wait and see. Offer a gift. Search the surroundings. We will start by knocking at the iron-studded gates with news. Uh, the muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to the news of marsh beast predictions and the traffic of rooftops. In return, she offers a rather perfunctionary, bla perfunctionary blessing, but the blessing reassures your crew. We have lost two terror. Let's watch the covenant. 
like a huge deadly like huge and deadly herons the sisters stalk along the very tops of the walls uh, you watch them through a spyglass as they leap and whirl, slashing at each other with a variety of frightening and frightening weapons. Gods, one of them just turned a somersault. That's all for now. And, uh... Uh, you'll find a story when you next make it to port, and you've gained five fragments. Awesome. Uh... And let's search the surroundings. A map, a mask, the face beneath. Someone died here, far from home, long enough ago that their flesh is gone. A visager by the look of their frog mask. The mask will be worth a bit. The skull would look good on a mantelpiece. But what's this map? Okay, uh, time is... Uh, you found something valuable. Once per game, something pleasant will happen. <laughs> Once per game. Uh... You have one tome's outlandish artifact. This belongs in a museum. Assuming that a colonial imperial appropriation for the purpose is hegemonic taxonomy, suitable for something or another, which it probably is, because museums are magnificent institutions. You've made an ironclad will. You can convert a collection of these into an heirloom for your successor. Okay. Uh, you have a lamentable relic. Uh, this is all. This is all of us one day, but let's not be in a tearing hurry about it. Uh, revelatory chart. The dark spectacle, uh, spectacled admiral will want to see this if your admiralty favor is high enough. And we gained five terror. I believe that there is nothing else we can do. And with that, I think we shall end this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, if so, then uh, likes, whatever, you know, all of that stuff, and I hope to see you next time.